friends. Yes, that red face is from the moody sun. It is probably going to be smoky again today, even though it's all crisp air. We have fires in eastern Washington that is just wreaking havoc. We had fresh air yesterday, which was super nice. Um, air quality is just under 100 right now, but I'm betting it's going to get worse. Look, yeah, it's going to get worse. So right now, I am pulling up to get apples. I'm so excited. My friend Vince just called me and he's here. I'm trying to think what he's got two trucks or one truck. Anyway, we're gonna get apples. This is a good day, yes, I need to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. Okay, that was fantastic. I'm gonna show you my little load when I stop up here, but um, fantastic. We cleared him out. I think he brought 2,500 pounds of apples. Maybe I have that wrong, maybe 1,500. Um, cleaned him out and right at the end, he had you know kind of the bad apples, the ones on the bottom get a little bit more bruised um, just from the weight of the apples. And so one last person came and she's been bugging me. It's a friend of mine. She's been bugging me for weeks now. When are you gonna get the apples? When? She was the last one to show up today because I had to text her and I'm like, dude, you've been asking for this, where are you? And so she came and uh, it literally was the last row of apples on the bottom of the barrels. And so he was like, you know what? You can just have these for free. I was gonna don donate those to the Northwest Food Harvest, but you can just have them if you're gonna, if they're bruised and you process them, that bruising doesn't matter. It's usually only if you're gonna eat them fresh that the bruising matters. And so she got all of her apples for free and she's like, see, it helps to be last. And then he gave me an extra bag um, just because he's like, if I give you some, then I won't have to donate them. So um, that worked out great, but he was so grateful. He's like, I can't believe that you just clear me out every time. And it's so fun because I see these people once a year like some of them I don't I don't even know except that they come and get apples and they've heard through the grapevine and we were talking today we're like how long have we been doing this and I think it's more than nine years I think we've been doing this for a really long time and because um, all of us were saying like no I came with my little kids and like they're all upset that they couldn't come with me today and they grew up coming to get apples and and every single mom was like yes my kids were like can you take me out of school I want to go and get apples with Vince and like it's just so neat that everyone has the same story that like this means so much to them and even though he had to raise his prices um, he sells them for normally for 50 cents a pound and uh, this year he had to increase the prices to 75 cents a pound, which I don't know what apples are going for you, but even at Costco, they're a dollar 50 a pound. So um, that, and that's for the cheapest apple. That's not even for the good ones. And so it's still a good deal. And it's just it's so fun to like, to talk to the other moms, because that's usually what we have. Sometimes we get husbands um, that are coming as well, but we didn't this time. But it's just fun and like literally some of these people I only see when they come in to get these apples and then I see you next year and people are now are getting to know him as well his truck is right in front of me it's cute him and his wife are gonna go to Target because they needed to go to the bathroom and there wasn't anyone that had a key to our church so they're having to find a place that is big enough for their trucks um, but anyway and a friend of mine is going to borrow my Victoria strainer She's gonna come by to my house right now. I'm gonna meet her there and she's gonna borrow it and process her apples into applesauce. And then I'll get it back from her and we're gonna pry, probably try and do ours either Friday or Monday, depending on when she gets done with it and I can get it back from her. She's hoping to do the apples tomorrow and then I can get it back from her for Friday. But it's just a fun yearly thing. And now I have, you guys, you don't even know how many I, I went and to get 200 pounds and stopped at 150 pounds and got some for other friends um, and then he probably tacked on another 40 50 pounds in free ones so <laughs> I have a lot of apples that we're gonna have to work through so now over the next couple days I've got to get all the jars out and clean them all and prep them and get ready to do applesauce let me know down below have you guys ever made fresh applesauce before and what version like how do you like to do it 
because now I've got videos on how I do it in all the different ways. You can do it stove top, crock pot, um, instant pot. Um, obviously now, now that, uh, what do you call them? The, what do they call air fryers? I wonder it, what sliced apples taste like in an air fryer. I don't know. Maybe it turns them into a little apple crisp. I have no idea. So anyway, let me know down below if you have processed apples. And anyway, I'm going to say goodbye to my friends. They're right there. They're heading over to Target. So I am now driving behind a cop on my way home. So I'm going to put my camera down. And I'm going to go home and change and work out while I edit. I have not worked out yet this morning. And it's already almost 12 o'clock. Um, so I need to get on the trip in. Just got home and my friend came over, met me here. She used to live across the street, but she has moved about 20 minutes outside of town. And she found out I have a Victoria strainer. And so she's like, can I snag that for my applesauce tomorrow? And so she came over and snagged that for me. And we chatted and we kind of miss, she used to live right there. And we've missed um, chatting and stuff. She was like my little, we didn't chat about politics today, but she was my political guru. Anything, anytime anything happened, I could guarantee I could run out to my front porch and give a little hoo-hoo and she'd be like running out to her front porch and she's like, we do a little jig about whatever political thing happened. Um, it's been a long, it's been a long three, four years. Uh, if you know, you know. Anyway, and so we, we were catching up and talking and I came in and it is now 1215 and I got a text message from Abby. And she's like, can you come get me from school? I was literally just down there. I was literally just down there. She went on a hike for school and for PE and she thinks she's kind of sprained her ankle and probably the hike did her in. She already has like some tension pain in her neck and in her back. Obviously her back is always hurting her. She's like, can you come and get me? And I, literally I haven't even changed into my workout clothes. I haven't even done anything, but I don't have to leave now for I have to leave in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna try and like finish the video really quick and then I'm gonna go and get her. And then <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to get a couple hours of editing while walking in before I have to take Ashley to, to her last, it's her second to last cheer practice. They have cheer practice after their last game and I have no idea why. Like anyway, so I'm gonna edit really quick and then I have to go and get her. All right, never got on the treadmill. I have walked a little bit. Um, Anyway, I just was tired and I had to do some things and I needed to just sit down for. Let me show you how many apples we got. Also, the walking around I did at the apples, I am at 5,400 steps. So, that's, that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna stay dressed, not do over extraneous walking, whatever, because I'm fully dressed. But I am gonna finish and get to 10,000 and then shower and take Ashley to cheer tonight. But let me show you the apples that I got. And then I'm gonna take my neighbor. She got 20 pounds, I think. Um, but let me show you how many I picked out and then how many Vince gave me. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit different than what I actually paid. All right, there's a lot of apples in here. Okay, I packed up this box. I packed up that bin and that's it. That's all I packed up. Then he packed up this bag. Actually, no, I packed up this one. I packed up this one to eat. We're gonna, these ones are nice, good ones. They're not, well, that one's bruised. We can eat that one today. But I got these ones for us to just eat and I'll put those in a bin. I just don't have one free right now. And then all the rest will be for applesauce. And then he snuck this whole cart into my car. Like this is not mine. He just loaded this up and put it in here. And actually, this guy needs to come out. I'll just put that into yard waste. But he filled that one up. And then again, at the very end, he's like, is this your bag? And I was like, nope. He starts filling it up. And the next thing I know, it's in my car. And it's filled up with apples as well. This one here is for my neighbor. I'm going to take that one to her. But yes, we have a lot of apples. And <laughs> we have a lot of work in head, ahead of us. Take this bag next door. Forgot to end yesterday's video. You get to be graced with Chelsea's presence this morning. I'm gonna hop on the treadmill first thing. All the kids are leaving for school. It is Wednesday, so all the older ones have late start. And I came out to the garage 
because I forgot that I didn't take the apples out and I was gonna come out when Jason got home and I just went to bed instead. But look what he did. But look what he did. He went ahead and unloaded them from my car for me. It's gonna make a lot of applesauce and I need to either get it processed as applesauce or get them into plastic tubs like this. So luckily I think we're gonna have to be ready to go on Friday which is in two days because these <laughs> are gonna just not do well in open containers. I don't want to get mice. You're headed to school? Well, I'm getting ready. Getting ready? I don't even have to get these little kittlings ready to go. Kittlings? Kittlings. <laughs> but you, I do need to remind you, oh, everyone but you to do your chore. You actually didn't do it for two days, well, to be fair. Did, but, but me, so. I hope you have a good day. Couldn't vouch. Don't forget your little art notebooks. Oh, I've been wanting to show these guys. Can I show them? Um, so that's one of her friends. Couldn't find a good And then she's them. been doing these cute little um, drawings for each holiday, which is kind of fun. But where's the notebook? Oh, that's cute. So, but this one is your your calendar one, huh? Yeah. This is. You don't tear them out, do you? You're leaving them in, right? Yeah. So here's her. Um, October calendar and she's kind of decorated different things and then she has like this little checklist. Oh, this is Kaylee. Yeah, that is so cute in her Did you messed table. up her nose or something? Yeah, but I thought the white marker would fix it, but I couldn't see <laughs> Okay, but then she does this cute little like, you know motivational list tell a joke eat 12 cucumbers one chewy and some mac and cheese. I'm pretty sure you accomplished that goal, Chels. <laughs> so funny. Do chalk art. Have a two, like some of these are so fun. Have a two minute conversation with whoever. I just think they're really fun. Maybe they can't even read them. Sorry, I'm glad I'm reading it for you. Do 10 push-ups, And you've checked off almost all these except for drawing chalk art. And then here's her one for Thanksgiving or for November. And another little like checklist and she's gonna get December ready to go. I just think it's really really cute. You're very cute Chelsea and you're very talented. Let's see if I can find some more in here. Oh she did this one on Sunday. A little cow. And then when you did the mushroom one, where's the mushroom one? You were drawing this one at church and did you see the girl in front of you start to draw mushrooms? She's like oh, I didn't get the idea from Chelsea. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> she was watching you the entire time you were drawing that little mushroom. It was really cute. A frog and a cardigan <laughs> thingy. Thing. <laughs> You're so funny. And then it has mushrooms on its head and its shoulder. Yeah. You're a funny kid. I love you. So just because it is another day, I will let you guys go. I don't know if I'm gonna film today, current day. I don't know, we'll see. I have activities planned with Ashley um, when she gets home from school just to get through therapy, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, but I'm gonna work out right now, so I will say goodbye to you guys. And what traditions do you guys have in the fall? I no longer take the kids to like pumpkin patches and things like that. Um, even when they were little, um, it was hard for me to do because Jason works on Saturday. And so it was a big task for me to take all four kids to the pumpkin patch by myself. So that one only, only lasted a little while and I haven't done it for years. Um, they luckily got to do it through like field trips with school. And so they, each one of them got to do it every year almost that way. So anyway, what traditions do you have in the fall? Do you make anything fun with apples or other items that are kind of fun and fallish? follow food, follow dinners. I'm always looking for ideas. So leave your comments down below with what you like to do in the fall. And luckily it's starting to look like fall. It just doesn't feel like it because of the smoke, which is unfortunate. I want to open my window right now. It's gorgeous out there. Look how gorgeous it is. Look at all the pretty color, but I can't open that window because the fog or the smoke is so bad. So take care. We'll see you guys next time. in the world I've been to this is where my heart is oh you know it's true no matter where I go I'm coming home to you